Well, this has been a very inspiring opening uh, to hear uh, right from the national chief through a whole lot of other people, in including former Prime Minister Joe Clark, and very strong words about uh, the whole process leading up to this day and to these hearings in, in Edmonton, but mainly about the work that has to be done in the future and that all of us are implicated, as Marie Wilson said, we are all implicated in our history and in the way ahead. So what I heard were strong, uh, sure, acknowledgement of the truth of residential schools and what they mean to the survivors in this room who were acknowledged again and again as being the ones who got this whole thing rolling. But then, everybody engaging all the rest of us in the project ahead to create a better world. And Justice Sinclair, you know, saying it's not going to uh, happen in our lifetime. I said that when I was moderator and when I delivered the 1998 apology, I said my dream was that my great-grandchildren will live in a land that, uh, where people respect one another and they live in compassion and justice. That kind of thing was repeated again and again, but in a, in a very positive, encouraging, uh, and challenging way. So I think it's been a, a great opening. I was just outside, uh, and uh, there, there's over 2,000 school children here today who are learning about this part of our history. So uh, I, it, you just wish everybody would be able to uh, experience uh, this opening but also the stories that will be told in the, in the next three and a half days. It's a very exciting time for Canada. And will we seize the moment? We'll see.